I need a grave digger. Hi, Scizorin here, and I wanted to make a quick video about my thoughts on the league mechanic, what I think should change, should anything change, and uh, yeah, just my thoughts around that. I've seen a lot of people really dislike the league mechanic, myself included to some degree. No, it's, uh, it's really interesting because the league itself is amazing. We've gotten so many cool features. We have the quality of life stuff and uh, the new Atlas trees, and that part is amazing. Right, and that for me is the most important thing. The leagues themselves are not always super exciting to me, and there's quite a lot of them I dislike. Let's look at this league mechanic specifically. Crafting league mechanics are generally quite unpopular. We don't see them too often, especially early on before people really figure them out, know exactly what to do, etc. They do get a lot of backlash. We saw this, um, the first one I can think of was Synthesis. It was really clunky early on. It was uh, pretty convoluted, especially compared to anything else we had in the game. And you had to, you know, get different puzzle pieces, maneuver them around. And the, the crafting itself didn't necessarily make sense. You would have to get things like, ooh, light radius to get explosion, etc. So a lot of people disliked it. And there was a patch two to four weeks into the league that like saved the league and made it amazing for a lot of people that kept playing. It's their favorite league ever. Um, the next crafting league was Harvest where Harvest was met with an onslaught of criticism. People hated it. They didn't understand how it worked. They didn't really understand how to use like the blocking things um, because, well, well, actually we also had Delve, but yeah, Delve also a little bit similar, but Delve was very easy as an introduction. You put in a, you know, a life one, at the worst case scenario, you're getting more life mods. The base level of this is a little bit more convoluted um, because you don't get to choose your base type in the same way. You There's a lot of things that you don't really get to choose. And obviously there's a lot left to figure out. I think it's safe to say that this is the most convoluted and most complicated crafting mechanic that we've ever seen before. And it does seem to be like a combination of other ones. Like, you know, Harvest combined with Delve and, and a few other things. I want to talk about a few really big problems uh, that people are having. First off... Early on, a lot of people were just like, oh, you know, I need a new amulet. I'll just throw in one whatever and click amulet. And wow, okay, I got like some sort of usable amulet. So we got a lot of rares early. So during the campaign, kind of whatever, it's okay. We get to like basically elk a lot more items than before. Now in the mid game, it's borderline unusable because we aren't really getting the things that we want, right? Like we're not able to set up like a huge combination. So we're maybe trying like, okay, I'm going to try life, life. Um, no int bases. Um, I want a armor evasion base. Uh, so I want to make sure that it has decks. It has armor. Okay, cool. It's an armor evasion base of some kind now, but we don't have things like, you know, make the base type better. Make the, make this a pig faced bassinet, for example, right? At the level I've been doing it, I've not had enough blockers that I feel like I can guarantee suppression because if you're doing on boots and you, let's say you make everything else unlikely that it's going to roll. So you're gonna get suppression well i'm not really in the state that i'm able to get that and there's nothing really for sale like because people don't know what to pick up people don't know what to pick up what to sell what people are going to buy so i don't know it's this is a bit of a weird thing when they have to keep trade league in mind and it feels a little bit like they've kept the idea of wow this is so much potential you can guarantee a tier one movement speed, tier one chaos rest fractured. So two of those fractured on a boot. You can almost, or I think you can guarantee that. Uh, so they've kept like those like edge cases in mind so much that I think it's going to be a bit of a really rough league for the average player. That's certainly the first impression everybody's having, right? Pretty much everybody that's playing this, the first impression for their, you know, first 40 hours is big shit. Right, they've made nothing fun. Um, they've they've not gotten anything cool from the map device part. Like it'll be, we see all over Reddit right now. It's like I receive seventy five percent physics extra lightning, twenty percent pen, two hundred percent crit, six additional projectiles, and I receive nothing or some chromatics. Right now, I was very lucky and I managed to get the divine mod. 
Uh, I don't think I leveraged it properly, but I did manage to get six. I do think you can get more. Obviously, we've seen some people getting 12, etc. Uh, and that was really fun. But that's the singular only fun thing that's happened to me from the link mechanic so far. And, and that was a very high end outcome. And, and those should happen. Those should, should probably happen a little bit more often than necessarily like once every 40 hours or once every 50 hours. Um, but there also needs to be some like medium outcomes. Think even like I haven't even, I think I had one thing like that with chaos and I dropped one chaos orb in the entire map. I think they need to, the Rippy mods should be tied to the reward, if anything. Um, right now, it's basically either you're getting a positive mod or you're getting a Rippy mod where you're like, should I just leave this map? Or like, and if you uh if you're skipping the lean mechanic, which you can't, and it like you you okay, on hardcore you literally have to look, right? You have to look like, okay, there's six projectiles in this map. That can't go on a projectile monster, or I will die. Right? So if you're like just doing the whole like, oh, let's let the game auto assign it for me. Woo! <laughs> Fuck. And then people have said, you maybe need to invest fully into the lean mechanic for it to be worth it. And that would be where I would start getting pissed off a little bit. Because if you have given us a unskippable league mechanic that you have to fully invest into for it to be good, that would be really fucking frustrating. I would not really mind that if it was something like Tota, something like Affliction, where, you know what? The link mechanic is not for everybody. We're going to make it completely optional. But for those that really want to enjoy it and do it, you can invest into it. And in my opinion, the best way that you should have like options to invest into it would be ways of changing your approach to the league mechanic. Like change the way it works. Uh, like, oh, well, I didn't really like enjoy that part. Can I maybe like take slightly less reward and have a little bit like more quality of life? Like a little bit more of that as opposed to, I just want to make it worth it. That would be frustrating to me. I'm definitely in the point where I really, I do understand like how strong the league mechanic is going to be end game. I don't feel like I'm getting the, the crafts I want. I'm not able to buy them. Like for example, right now, I would love to get like loads of uh, more life, higher life rating. I would love to get less attack. I would love to have gem. And I would love like, I know exactly what I want, I can't buy this stuff. I can't target farm it. So I'm just left going like, well, these things would be great to have. But right now I mostly have like things I don't really care about. Like, oh, more physical modifier, more mana modifiers, less mana modifiers, uh, plus mana rating, plus level, plus one additional link, but up to a four link. And things that I, I don't know, it's very uninteresting to me. So while I see the late game potential of 80, 83 things, it also has so many holes of every time I craft an amulet or a ring right now, I'm never going to get an amethyst ring, which is, I pretty much only use amethyst rings on hardcore. There are not really many options. I sometimes use a vermilion ring if my gear is like, oh my God, min-maxed. Uh, but yeah, 95% of the time, unless it's, an, unless it's an amethyst ring, which I don't believe we have that as an option of, the ring is an amethyst ring. I, I believe I've seen vermilion um, and things like that. But right now I'm getting power ring. I'm getting coral ring. I'm getting gold ring. And I'm like, okay, cool. That was almost a usable ring, but it's on a gold ring base. So I guess I'll enter it. On things like gloves, boots, and helmet, and body armor, I'm like, oh, cool. cool. I got like a 120 res, 110 life thing. But it doesn't have suppression. So again, we can't use it because suppression is in such a mandatory state right now. And you have nothing really you can do except blocking everything else to force suppression. And then you're generally not getting res. And you don't have a good way to get high tier suppression. So how am I going to get tier one suppression and something else good on a glove, boot, or helmet? Well, the answer is, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get those things. So for me, the mechanic is pretty much unusable. And that is really frustrating. Again, there will be really cool endgame things. And I love the the look of the um, the haunted mods. A lot of those look really interesting. But I hate looking at the potential of something and being like, man, the potential for this is so cool and not ending up with any actual real usable item, right? That's the only thing that matters. What cool stuff am I getting from the lane mechanic? And when that is something that's a little bit more like convoluted, a little bit more like, well, you have to work it out. Well, a lot of people don't like that, right? Lastly, it was so incredibly popular because it was very obviously fun. 
you had charms, you had the tinctures. There were still cool things to figure out about them. Like, well, you could actually do this really cool thing with tinctures. But most of the league mechanic was very obvious. It's a lot easier for people to enjoy a league mechanic when the fun is a little bit more obvious in an already incredibly complicated game. So I'm still actually loving the league. I'm having the best league start I've ever had, but it is in spite of the league mechanic, not because of it. And other than that, they, yeah, there's been just the mostly like looking at it as by, well, I'm playing Gauntlet Light right now, you know, I'm playing a challenge and the challenge is fun, but I would like to be rewarded for it. I've never really been a difficulty for the sake of difficulty player. I do like difficult content, but I like difficult content that is rewarding. Uh, I've always been pretty consistent with that. It's actually why Invasion was the only league that I rage quit. Because I don't really like just difficulty. I really want there to be like, I'm taking on this crazy challenge and then I'm rewarded for it. Because I may be doing content that other players. So yeah, more stuff from the, the map thing. Make that a little bit more middle ground rewarding. Um, especially when we're having like a bit of a come down from last league. The crafting mechanic itself, this is just the risk of making a heavy crafting league. A large part of your crafting, uh, of your of your audience is just not going to interact with it because for for the majority of your audience, basic crafting is so complicated. Like these, these are people that are already struggling with essences and and basic crafting, right? And that is as basic as they can get. But even that crafting is a little bit scary in PoE. So this type will be very out of reach for a lot of players. So either way, this is uh, my little rant on the league mechanic and uh, what I don't like about it. Either way, I'm going to continue having a blast, spamming a lot of Sanctum and I have a very powerful EA already. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm whining or dumb or correct or whatever you think. But either way, that's how I feel about the league mechanic so far. So sub if you like the video, but more importantly, Try to die less than I do.